Hey guys, welcome back to another 10 minute ab workout. Today our focus is all on the lower abs and the obliques or the love handle area. I just wanted to give you guys a quick but very important reminder before we get started that you cannot spot reduce fat. There is no specific love handle workout that is going to magically diminish your love handle fat or your lower belly fat or any part of your body for that matter. So I just wanted to quickly remind you of that as I get a lot of questions about this. Fat loss is an all over body process, but workouts like these targeted for those areas on your body are going to help strengthen and tone those areas so that when you do lose the fat, you have a nicely toned stomach underneath and core strength in itself beyond the physical appearance is so important for overall health. So. Just a little reminder for you guys today before we get started. So this is a 10 minute workout. There's no equipment needed. All you need is yourself and definitely something soft beneath you as we are gonna be on the ground for the majority of this workout. We're gonna be doing about 10 different exercises. Most of the exercises are going to be 50 seconds on with a 10 second rest. If we're doing a one-sided uh, exercise, we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side then take a 10 second rest. Don't worry though, just make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, starting off, we're gonna do a reverse crunch. And at the bottom of our reverse crunch, we're going to open our legs into a super kick. So down, bring it in, and open and close. Bring it in open and close. If you want to make this a little bit easier, you're going to keep your legs bent and keep them bent, pressing your lower back into the ground just like so. The noises that your back is making means that you're pressing your lower back into the floor. Really bring those knees as close as you can to your chest, focus on that crunch. Good, next up, we're gonna do 30 seconds on one side, staying on your back. You're gonna bring one leg in, crunch it up, center, back down, same movement with your leg, but this time you're going to twist and both hands come out to the side. And down, up, and twist. Keep that neck nice and long. Gaze looking toward the ceiling and out in front of you. Bring that knee into the chest. We're gonna switch legs. Here we go. Make sure that you're twisting, bringing those hands all the way down beside your bum. Good. Next up, three bicycle legs. One, two, three, hold. Press that lower back into the floor. Bring that bottom leg up and down. Again, one, two, three, hold. Bring that leg up and down. So you may feel a slight burn in your upper abs, totally normal. But what I really want you to focus on is, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but press that lower back into the floor. That's really gonna make sure that you're using those lower abs. You can also think about tucking your bum under or bringing your belly button to your spine. Good. Staying here on our backs. 
We're going to bring the legs into tabletop position. Press that lower back into the floor. Bring your head up into a crunch position. Fingertips by the ears. Extend the legs and bring them in. Nice and simple. Notice how I'm not dropping my legs all the way to the floor. My focus is pressing that lower back into the floor so that I'm really firing up those lower abs. Keep that chest nice and open, neck nice and long. Good. 
Good. All right, next up we're gonna do some side crunches. You can have your bottom leg extended or bent, totally up to you. You can drop the knee down, but I like to bring my toe to my knee here and crunch, focusing on those obliques. Having my knee dropped to the floor, I find that I'm using not enough of my core and too much of my back. So bringing it more to the center, having that toe by the knee really allows me to use those obliques. But do what feels best for you. We're gonna switch sides. Good. All right, last minute here. We are going to stay on our backs. Feet are a little bit closer to your bum. Lifting up, reaching, try to touch those toes. Really move side to side here. And right from here, we're gonna turn over into a plank and do some hip dips for the last 30 seconds. Guys, come on. Getting ready to flip over into plank. On your elbows, booties down, drop it down, and bring it back up. I hope you enjoyed this quick but intense 10 minute ab workout. I absolutely loved this one. If you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs up for me and leave me your feedback in the comments down below. Let me know how you did because I love to hear it. I love listening to your feedback. So thank you so much for all of your comments. If you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!